can you recall in which spheres of the earth do living things exist living things exist in all three spheres of the earth that is atmosphere lithosphere and the hydrosphere the geographical conditions at different places on the earth are very different we find that living things exist in all these diverse conditions when we live in a certain place we adjust to the conditions there various types of living things have survived because of their ability to adjust themselves to the conditions in their surroundings we can see variety in plants and animals around us as well as in the world in this lesson we are going to study diversity in living things and their classification can you tell are the plants and animals that you have seen all alike no the plants and animals are of great variety there is a diversity in shape body structure color types etc among the different animals and plants diversity in plants various types of plants are found in many places around us some plants like grass are short while others are tall and have a canopy some plants grow under water while some plants float on water we find that some plants grow even in deserts moreover we find that there is a lot of variety in the same type of plant for example there are different varieties of rice or wheat different types of roses and mangoes of different flavors some plants grow even without stems leaves or roots these are very different from ordinary plants let us study this diversity among plants plants make their own food in sunlight such plants are called autotrophic plants for example the hibiscus pomegranate periwinkle etc some plants like funguses loranthus dodder use other plants for food and are said to be heterotrophic plants like the pitcher plant even consume insects they are insectivorous plants the structure of a plant plant structure can generally be divided into two parts the stem which grows above the ground and the root which grows below the ground surface the root stem and leaves are the main parts of plants from time to time plants bear flowers for reproduction flowers are transformed into fruits fruits have seeds and seeds give rise to new plants roots roots hold the soil firmly and anchor the plant the main functions of the root are to absorb and transport water and nutrients from the soil the roots of the carrot and radish also store food there are two types of roots tap root and fibrous root stem the stem the height shape and size of a plant depends upon the stem the stem carries out the functions of production conduction and storage of food in some plants it has the function of reproduction the stem gives support to other parts of the plant leaf the leaf is flat it plays an important role in the production of food leaves are mainly of two types simple and compound leaves flower the flower this is the most attractive part of a plant 
इट इज कनेक्टेड टू द स्टेम बाय स्टॉक विच मे बी लॉन्ग और शॉर्ट ए फ्लावर हैज अ टिपिकल कलर एंड शेप द फ्लावर इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट मीन्स ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन फ्रूट द फ्रूट फ्रूट्स हैव डिफरेंट शेप्स फ्रूट्स कंटेन वन और मोर सीड्स द पॉट्स ऑफ बीन्स एंड पीज आर एक्चुअली फ्रूट्स नीड फॉर क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स अप टिल नाउ इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट लैक्स ऑफ प्लांट्स हैज बीन कलेक्टेड वाइल स्टडिंग द डायवर्सिटी इन प्लांट्स दे आर क्लासिफाइड फॉर द सेक ऑफ कन्वीनियंस ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द सिमिलैरिटीज एंड डिफरेंसेस इन देअर स्ट्रक्चर देअर ऑर्गन्स एंड देअर अदर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स द साइंटिस्ट कार्लोस लिनिन्स मेड द फर्स्ट साइंटिफिक क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स इनिशियली इट वॉज हिज मेथड ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन दैट वॉज यूज बाय ऑल ऑब्जर्व एंड डिस्कस टेक ए राउंड थ्रू ए गार्डन और इन यूर सराउंडिंग्स एंड लिस्ट द प्लांट्स दैट यू सी ड्रॉ देअर पिक्चर्स एज वेल ड्रॉ टेबल एट शोन बिलो एंड कंप्लीट इट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द इन्फॉर्मेशन यू गैदर एंड डिस्कस इट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स और पेरेंट्स वी कैन इजीली नोटिस द डिफरसेस इन द शेप्स एंड हाइट ऑफ द प्लांट्स इन अवर सराउंडिंग्स इट इज इजी टू क्लासीफाई द प्लांट्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दीज ऑब्जर्वेशन्स क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स कैन यू टेल वॉट आर द सिमिलैरिटीज बिटवीन अ मैंगो ए बैनियन एंड ए टैमरिन ट्री मैंगो बैनियन एंड टैमरिन आर ह्यूज ट्रीज वॉट आर द सिमिलैरिटीज बिटवीन द हिबिस्कस ओलियंडर एंड लैंटना प्लांट्स दीज प्लांट्स आर श्रब्स दैट डू नॉट ग्रो टॉल वॉट आर द सिमिलैरिटीज बिटवीन द फेनुग्रीक एंड पेरीविंकल प्लांट्स फेनुग्रीक एंड पेरीविंकल आर स्मॉल हर्ब्स हैव यू सीन वाइन्स लाइक द पम्पकिन द रेल रोड क्रीपर कवली वॉटर मेलन और द ग्रेप वाइन हाउ डू दे ग्रो वी हैव सीन सम क्रीपर्स दे ऑलवेज ग्रो विथ सम सपोर्ट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स बेस्ड ऑन स्टेम ट्रंक हाइट ऑफ ब्रांचेस अबाउ द ग्राउंड सम प्लांट्स ग्रो टॉल देअर स्टेम और ट्रंक इज हार्ड एंड स्ट्रॉंग दे हैव ब्रांचेस एट सम हाइट अबाउ द ग्राउंड दे बियर फ्लावर्स एंड फ्रूट फॉर मेनी इयर्स सच प्लांट्स आर कॉल्ड ट्रीज ट्रीज आर टॉल बिग एंड पेरिनियल दैट मीन्स दे लिव फॉर मेनी इयर्स सम प्लांट्स ग्रो क्लोज टू द ग्राउंड दे गिव आउट ब्रांचेस वेरी क्लोज टू द ग्राउंड दे आर शॉर्टर एंड स्मॉलर दैन ट्रीज बट दे हैव ए थीक एंड हार्ड स्टेम द ओलियंडर हिबिस्कस लैंटेना कोरंटी एंड रोज आर श्रब्स दैट मे ग्रो अप टू 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 थ्री मीटर्स herbs grow 1 to 1.5 meters tall the stems of herbs are green and quite flexible as compared to those of trees and bushes herbs may live for a few months or up to 2 years some vines need vertical support for growing while some others spread on the ground climbers like the money plant have aerial roots have you seen cucumber tendrils that look like a spring of what use could they be touch the stem of any vine what do you feel the stem of a creeper is very flexible soft and green it grows rapidly with the help of a support can you tell for how many years do crops like bajra wheat corn radish marigold leave All the above plants survive for about one year. Classification based on life cycle of plants. The life cycle of plants like jowar, sunflower is completed in one year. These plants are called annuals. 
the life cycle of plants like the carrot beetroot is of 2 years they are called biennials shrubs like the hibiscus and oleander and trees like mango and gulmohar live for several years and bear flowers and fruit they are called perennials according to the period of their life cycle plants are classified as annuals biennials and perennials can you tell to which part of plants are butterflies and insects attracted butterflies and insects are attracted towards the flowers of the plants classification based on plants bearing flowers plants that bear flowers are called flowering plants while the plants that never bear flowers are called non flowering plants non flowering plants may not have organs like roots stems leaves can you tell where does the pomegranate shrub grow the shrub of pomegranate grows till the height of 6 to 10 meters in orchards or farms the pomegranate is cultivated in orchards in western maharashtra where does the lotus grow lotus is an aquatic plant and it is seen submerged in the water its roots are under water while leaves float on the water surface where do bulrushes the railroad creepers grow bulrushes grow near water source usually it is seen growing on the banks of the water bodies railroad creepers are seen growing on the compounds of houses and on the road side it cannot grow without support due to its green and flexible stem where does the dodder plant grow the dodder plant is a parasitic plant it is seen growing on a host plant it can absorb all required nutrients from the host plant classification based on habitat of the plants we see different plants growing in different places around us plants can be classified according to their habitat or the place where they grow land water marshy areas deserts and even a big tree are the various habitats of plants Thank mm-hmm. you.